Hello everybody, this is Chris from FluentInMandarin.com and in this video I'm going to be taking a first look and doing a little review of the course or resource for learning Cantonese, Cantonese Conversations, which comes from Ollie Richards, who is the creator of the website IWillTeachYouAlanguage.com and I've been taking a look at this course over the last few days and I'm going to do a quick review of it. So what you get in Cantonese Conversations is a collection of 31 conversations between native speakers of Cantonese recorded by Oli and his team in Hong Kong. And there are in fact 31 different conversations here on a variety of different everyday topics. So we've got things like the ups and downs of working in Hong Kong, we've got hiking in Hong Kong, choosing between the UK and Hong Kong, cultural differences, cost of living, travel, weather, uh, cultural differences, uh, traveling in Europe, etc., uh, etc. Et so you've got a lot of different everyday topics here covering a wide range of vocabulary. And as you log into the course, it looks like this. And you have a video which Ollie has made telling you how to make the most of this course. So that's worth having a look at before you dive into the rest of the course. So let's have a look at one of the conversations from this course. I've just chosen one pretty much at random and let's have a little listen. As you can see, we've got a video which is really clear of the two speakers. Let's check it out. Hey, Philip, so as you can see, you've got a really uh, natural conversation between the two speakers. They're speaking at a very normal uh, conversational speed. Mm, but even if you've been learning Cantonese for a while, this might be too fast for you to follow and really understand what they're saying. So that's why you get um, a copy of the full transcripts from all of the conversations in PDF format. And you can also download it in audio format as well. So let's have a look at this PDF um, transcripts for this conversation. So as you can see, we get everything from this dialogue written out in traditional Chinese characters. And this is written in Cantonese colloquial Cantonese rather than standard written Chinese, which is basically writing Mandarin. So, and it's written in traditional characters which are used in Hong Kong and Macau. And then you also get below that a pronunciation guide written using the system Yutping, which is a popular system used for people learning Cantonese. And then each of the syllables is written out with the tone, the number of the tone that is used for that character. So it's really easy to follow along and then a full translation of everything they're saying. So everything is basically written out for you. So you can follow along with the, with the dialogue and understand everything. So let's follow along with this one again just to show you how this works. So as you can see, it's very really easy to follow along with everything they're saying with the translation there and everything written out for you. And Ali actually recommends that you listen to the dialogues a number of times and work through them really slowly. First of all, with the transcript, reading everything in full and then trying to uh, take it step by step and also uh, listening several times. And then by the end, you'll really understand everything they're saying and you won't have to refer to the, the dialogue transcripts or the... Uh, translations at all. And another thing that I really like is that they have vocabulary at the bottom of this course uh, for, uh, at the bottom of the lesson, sorry, for every lesson in the course or every dialogue. So here you've got the key vocabulary from this dialogue written in the Chinese characters and then the Yip Ping pronunciation guide. 
and then the, the translation in English as well. And another thing that I like is that you also get a collection of electronic flashcards with this course as well that you can use to study some of the key vocabulary if you've got this software Anki on your computer. So let me show you how that works. So here we have Mo Hap K adjustment period singer personality and then you can continue to gap is match okay so we can continue to study the key vocabulary from the course in that program in that program and of course you can obviously study from the vocabulary list as well so what i really like about this course is how natural the conversations are how how easy they are to learn from and also how everything is written out and done for you. What you really need uh, when you're learning a language is really natural learning material and that's exactly what you're getting here. And there's actually not much material available for people who are learning Cantonese, especially above the beginner level. So this kind of course is very good for somebody who's already taken a basic course in Cantonese or knows a bit of the language and just wants to get to that next level in terms of fluency and building your vocabulary. The other thing you can do is download the package of the complete conversations and then you'll get the audio and the notes and the, the uh, transcripts as well so you can uh, look at them on your iPad or on your computer or whatever you like. And as you can see some of the conversations say they're coming soon but Ollie has informed me but that they're actually going to be uploaded over the next couple of days so probably by the time you see this video everything will be there already and then we've got introductions to the speakers and loads of different conversations here as I said the first 18 are available with video and audio and the last uh, portion the last portion of the course is available with audio and the transcripts as well so it's actually a really natural way to improve your speaking in Cantonese. Um, there's obviously a few things that could be improved though. I mean, first of all, the videos. One thing I notice is the videos don't have subtitles, which uh, could really help you out if there were subtitles. Uh, also, there's no um, pronunciation guide in Yale, uh, the Yale pronunciation guide or in IPA, if you're familiar with those. Um, but that's not too much of a problem as everything is written out in Yutping and in the Chinese characters, which is probably what most people will be using. It's also, it doesn't cover everything that a basic Cantonese course would need to cover. It's mainly for people who are improving. So if you don't know any Cantonese at all, and you don't know the basics, and you just want to learn the absolute basics, then this is not going to be for you. Um, it's more for improvers. So all in all, I think it's a really good set of material for anybody who's been learning Cantonese, or maybe is crossing over from Mandarin to Cantonese and wants a bit of a shortcut and wants to uh, get to the next level. The 31 conversations actually provide a lot of material there. there. There's a lot to work through there and if you really work through each of the the conversations in detail then it will take you a decent amount of time and I think uh, there's enough material here for most learners to be getting on with. So if you're interested in learning Cantonese and you want to take things to the next level I really recommend that you check this course out and I'm certainly going to be using it in my Cantonese learning, although uh, that's kind of fallen a bit by the wayside lately. Um, but all in all, I think it's a great resource. So definitely check it out and let me know what you think in the comments. And yeah, see you soon, everybody.